So how do we connect with people and get over loneliness during these times when we're supposed to physically distance? And they call it social distancing, but really it's physical distancing. You can still connect with people socially, I think, but you have to be creative. And, you know, when I when I was early on, I was trained as a couples, marriage and family therapist, but I also did individual uh, counseling and therapy. And I would sometimes have people come in that just could not find a relationship. And they were fine people. They were, you know, they were fine looking. They were f- nice people with good senses of humor, you know, but they just for some reason were so frustrated. And then they'd, of course, get a little more desperate to try and find a connection with people. Because I did so much couples counseling, I would often find out how couples had met one another. And a good percentage of the time, I don't know how much, but a good percentage of the time, people would meet while they were focused on something else besides meeting people. They volunteered at a you know a homeless shelter or to, to feed the homeless, and they met somebody there, and they just started chatting. Or they met somebody at work, or they met somebody at school in a class they were taking. So typically, what I think when you're trying to connect with people in these kind of times when we're supposed to physically isolate, it'd be cool to find if you could collaborate on some project with someone. I was raised in an era of letter and card writing, and I think it'd be kind of cool to think of those people that are really special to you. I mean, there's this thing in positive psychology, take some time to actually write out a letter to thank somebody who's really contributed to your life. And so I think that would be a really cool thing. And then what you typically do is send that letter if the person's still alive, you send that letter to that person and you get on the telephone while they read it aloud. And so there's research that says that makes both people who uh, are involved in this letter writing thing um, happier and more connected. So, but I think just writing old fashioned letters and cards or collaborating on some project, um, you know, my, I've, I've been a therapist for a bunch of years, but my sort of hobby and new career in my dotage is to write songs. And um, I'm having the greatest time And I collaborate often um, with people from a distance. Either they send me lyrics and I put music to them, or I come up with some music and they put lyrics to them, or we work together on um, on over Skype or uh, Facebook Messenger or a Zoom or one of these connecting things. So that collaborating project where you're not trying to, hey, let's get together and let's make friends. I think that's such a crucial thing to not put pressure on other people to make relationships. But I've made some of the best friendships I've ever had in my life. And the research says that especially men, as they get older, do not make new friends. I mean, they just keep the same several friends they had when they were in college or high school or from their first jobs or whatever it may be or from some place in the past. And they typically don't make new friends. So I've been really excited to make really good new friends in the songwriting community. So figure out some project that you love, some hobby and passion that maybe you could do with other people, whatever that may be. I um, actually, I live in Nashville part-time and I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico part-time. When I'm in Nashville, I write songs and I live with three songwriters. And two of them are young, uh, they're 25-year-olds, and one of them watches movies with her mother while they're on the phone, and they talk about the movie through <laughs> through the whole uh, movie while they're on the phone together. I've never done that in my life, but I think that's a kind of a clever thing to do. Pick out your favorite movie or some movie that neither of you has seen and connect with somebody that way. Um, and... Um, my partner uh, is a physician and she's doing that physical distancing thing, but she has a standing appointment with someone where they walk together every week. And uh, they decided to do their walk virtually. Um, my partner was walking near our house and her, her friend was walking near her house. And they just chatted on the phone the whole time. And it was a little different than their physical walks where they're together. But they had a fantastic time. She just came back and told me how great it was. And so I think you need to be creative in figuring out ways to connect with people and or meet new people to connect with if you're feeling very isolated and alone during this time. Thank <laughs> you.